Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'll be reviewing the cheapest projector from AliExpress when it comes down to 720p projectors. And it's quite a bit of good looking one. Just take a look at how it looks beside the 4K Xiaomi Ultra Short Draw. It looks tiny, cute, and quite good. But is it any good to buy? Instead of my other videos, since this is the cheapest projector, I reckon you either have a very low budget or you don't care too much of a projector to use. You just want to use it casually in a short term. Other than this, these two options, I believe this projector is not for you. So basically, instead of my other videos, I will do something crazy and different. I will give the conclusion in the beginning. And if you think that's a valuable item for you, you can continue for the rest of the video. This video will be in the sections. So you'll be seeing the detailed close-up shots, like all the physical details of this. Also the picture quality detail menu of it. So all of these things will show you like, like how it focuses, how the focus uniformity is and how powerful it is with the tests of actual like seeing the brightness level of it like ansi lumen volume is it correct or not we're going to take a look at all these things and give you the basic idea is it worth the money this is a 50 to 60 dollar projector this is the cheapest 720 p like i told you so let's start with what's wrong with it or what's positive about it starting with the positives the design is good build quality physically it's good and the buttons are easy to navigate and the menu is simple to control and also the design is like x gimme because probably x gimme one of the most popular brands from china and their build quality and image quality is quite good i haven't had the chance to review them but i watch a lot of reviewers professional reviewers and i think x -Gimme design affected this projector a lot. So, of course, the x -Gimme starts from probably this sort of design of x -Gimme starts $900 to going to the 4K. It's becoming like $1,600 range-ish. So this is nowhere near the price. But it looks cool and the design have its own positives. And by the way, you can put it on the ceiling and you can po point straight and we have a quarter inch um, screw hole so that makes this uh, projector looking quite cool and also easy to apply with tr any kind of tripod these are the positive positives we have speakers at the back and the ventilation uh, generally looks good good and the sound uh, this is not too noisy projector these are pluses so we have a lot of good stuff right so we have hdmi and usb this these physical things you're going to see in the detail we have a small small quite small um remote control which is basically probably same for every cheap projector but we have a focus button plus and minus so this device has automatic uh, or sort of like a remote control uh, focus system and that's a bad thing if you can't really focus by pushing the button a couple of times and you're going to see the focus quality sharpness of this device so what is also i'm becoming uh, to part i'm uh, coming to the part of negatives uh, by the way the positives are finished uh, although it looks like a lot of positives the image quality sucks i don't want to say this word but it sucks and it's although it's declaring itself 720p uh, you can't you can really buy secondhand market quite a bit of old 720p models from Epson, BenQ, Vivsonic and many brands out there with a good optical quality way better than this device so I don't recommend this sort of cheap devices and if you watch my other videos I don't normally recommend going under $150 not including the tax not including the shipment so this device is 50 to 60 dollar or 75 dollar range without tax and shipment these are like you know uh, the best super deals of aliexpress or probably many of the websites but for some countries i believe with high tax ratios like spain greece or maybe turkey uh, you will get these items around 100 dollar including tax and shipment i know when you think about $100, it feels like a number, but 
when you, you know, the, um, at least uh, calculate the numbers of the tax and the shipment cost, and if it's like $50, don't expect something good out of a brand new LED projector when it comes down to the $50 budget. You can't really buy a decent wristwatch for this price, even from Chinese brands. So how do you expect something good out of a $50 to $60 or $70 product? But not everything is bad. You can use this device, and I will come to that part in a, uh, quite a bit of short time. This is the conclusion part. And the, in the rest of the video, you'll see what this device is capable, and you can decide it for yourself. By the way, I'm not sponsored. I purchased this product by myself with my hard-earned cash. Why do I do it if I don't believe not going $150 range? I believe everyone wants something cheap, but I want to show as much as much as possible you can't buy a good product for cheap price. Although you can use it, and there are reasons, and there are probably positions that you can use it, uh, there might be scenarios, and I will talk about them, but you shouldn't be expecting this much. By the way, if you're wondering what is behind me, this is a 4K Ultra Short Throw Xiaomi. Uh, projector, laser projector, and this is an ALR screen from Vimit Storm. So you're seeing a TV style visual quality even in the lit room. That's one of the reasons. But the setup costs a lot. So I'm not going to be talking in this video. You can check out the other videos. By the way, if you're watching this video until now, you're probably thinking to buy a projector. Just watch my other tutorials before buying a projector series. Projector guides, screen guides, comparisons. So you watch them to understand the topic and don't hurry before wasting your money. Why do I say wasting your money? Although this seems cheap, if you buy them and if you hate them, you have to sell them and you have to, you know, gather money again and also buy something again. So don't waste time and money. Just watch this video until end. So the rest of the conclusion part of course, from the beginning, what's, what's uh, good and what's bad about it. Like I said, the focus is automatic of this device and it's awful. You can't really focus at the position that you want. You can go back and forth and find something good, but you will pass it. And I will show it to you in the detail. Menu is simple. That's a positive. You'll be seeing the positives and negatives in the screen. And the speakers are good, like I told you, but they're not powerful enough to use it actual movie style. You can understand what's playing, but it's not nowhere near good. It's, it's also be expected for this price. What's bad also, the sharpness is overall equality is a big issue. And if you put it like this on a table or anything, and if you adjust vertical correction, then like screwing the image digitally, you're going to ruining the overall sharpness even more, and you're going to be left with a far more worse image than you already started. So one other thing is bad about this. Uh, although this seems like a good thing, it has a basic system. It's easy to use. So we don't have an Android in this. We don't have smart in this. We only have Bluetooth. And the casting ability, this seems good because if you go too cheap and with a bad GPU or CPU inside, the Android or operation system might fail. If you go simple like this, you can get away with casting and or HDMI connection. That's a plus and minus, depending on where you look at things. And it's probably overall that. If I were you, let's just come to the part of end of the conclusion if i were you and if i'm about to buy a projector for a cost of 50 to 60 dollar i wouldn't buy that instead of this i would at least gather some money to 75 dollar to you know 100 dollar range and buy a second hand 720p epson usonic benq or any kind of known general brands in the second hand market and go boob because they are more powerful, boobs are easy to replace, like $15 to $20 in the long run. 
and you're going to see huge sharpness difference and the brightness difference compared to these devices. But who is this for then? Isn't there any chance people buy this? If you're going to watch this projector, let's just say less than one hour in a week, that might be. If you're going to put it up top like ceiling, use this as a child projector, like if a baby just look at the ceiling instead of just projecting moving stars, same stars, you can project skies, clouds. Even though the sharpness has problem, you can use it like a sleep projector. Before the sleep for kids, you can apply like five to ten minutes if you watch a drone footage above the sky, like flying over the clouds and stuff. That might help to kids to relax and sleep easy that could be an option but if you're going to watch a movie or tv series or play games with the console this is not it or any kind of like 50 to 75 dollar range of projectors are not worth the money or the effort don't waste your money don't waste your time but if you want to waste money and time or especially love the design of this thing you can watch the rest of this video and figure out how bad this is so that's why i'm going to continue in this video but my conclusion ends here if i were you i will probably buy a second hand known sharp good lens projector and i made whole another video comparing cheap led projector against bulb old style projector and what are the advantages of the bulb projectors still and even though you're thinking this is 720p you can check out in the second hand market 1024 to 768 like pc resolution old style not even 720p projectors like from epson 3lcd or benq or vivsonic if they have hdmi you're good to go just connect something smart connect your smartphone dongle pc whatever you'll get a sharp good image 720p actually is not a bad thing what is bad is bad optics if you go cheap the glass quality will drops down like a rock because glasses are expensive for cameras for webcams for action cameras if you have a good lens it it's going to be expensive if you look out also the smart you know phones with the camera settings if you go above for the best camera, the price increase because of the glass, the sensor. The sensor in these projectors are maybe similar for most of them, but definitely lens is quite a bit of different with all of them. If you're going to change the price level of it, just wait a while, go above $100, $150. I repeat this. And if you haven't watched my other guide videos, just watch them. I compare screens, the ALR ones, regular white ones, walls, and also compare different projectors. You can definitely find good, interesting projectors. Without further ado, I don't want to uh, make it longer, the intro and also the conclusion part of this video. From the rest of this video, what you will be finding, the details, physical details, menu, image quality, and sharpness and also if i find time i will test the nc lumen the true power of these projectors and you'll decide it for yourself rest of the video will not be this much of a conclusive informational i hope you enjoy this video and i will leave you for the this uh, detailed review uh, of this video and don't forget to subscribe and like the videos because I'm shooting these videos late at night after probably 11 or 12 for many of my shots. This is a hobby channel. I don't get paid. So your support and comments are important for the growth of this channel. So if you still want to buy sort of thing, or if you want to learn how bad these things or how good they could be for the use of a projection scenario. So keep continuing. 
In this part of the video, we're going to take a look at the box and the content. Basically, I take the content out and the box says it is A003. And it says also, kindly noted, due to the different production batches, different color box will be shipped randomly. So the box is not actual for the item itself. So this is basically a general design and the box is not even for the product itself. So you can see different uh, definitely product boxes but it says 720p and 2.7 inch LCD TFT display inside of it and as you can see design is different in this box so I'm going to put it away this part is not important what we're going to focus is before the projector itself the remote control is simple let me just get it close we got focus point plus and minus this is a focus button so it moves the motor but you're going to witness in the detail how it will affect the focus. As you can see, we got mute, volume up, volume down, home button, power button, and the menu navigation button, the source, back, and the menu button. So that's a simple, uh, user-friendly, and easy to find remote control. And in the box content, they give two, I believe, fake 3D glasses or carton glasses. I believe this is just the fun out of it. I don't think this works so it's not something I will look for so the user manual looks kind of okay and it's easy and explanatory so even if you're new to the things you can't really understand this projector because it's simple from the outside so you don't have to read too much of a thing having a HDMI cable even though it's a small HDMI cable it's a good stuff inside of this units box if you're going to connect the pc or something like that rather than casting from a smartphone so let's take a look at the physical abilities before i would say i wasn't expecting this part metal when i first bought the projector so i didn't think this would be a, like aluminum feeling like apple product and it is as you can see the finish is not an apple finish this could scratch your tripod or the table surface if you, you know, just move it around. How bad the finish is, you can see it. But we have silicon-based feet, so I don't move it around to not scratch my wife's beloved furniture. So at the bottom of the projector, we have another screw hole. That's also a plus if you're going to screw it on some sort of device directly, the case of it. If you're not going to use this part that's a good thing to have and the build quality like i said this is metal but they also send uh, a small allen key and allen two allen screws if you ever lose them but probably they're around somewhere or inside the box i forgot that that's a plus for the box content as you can see this is the cooling area and from left to right it's good to have it like good airflow it looks at least it looks like it and it's not making too much of a noise by the way although it looks like a speaker you can see this is a fake one just to make it stereo looking this is the hole we have so behind that we got speaker so you can see the shiny middle part of the speaker the power input is as you can see basic so we got a power cable which is a long cable. The power unit is inside. That's a plus because if you have an adapter, you have to hang it. That's not a good thing. The adapters just, you know, takes the projectors like this, you know, take them down. That's kind of a plus for using only single cable. So behind or bottom of the unit, we see 50 watts of power use and also the hertz levels and CAFCC, all the sticker is general. Look at this LED projector. Do you even have a model here? We got a serial number and no actual model number. This is how generic this is. So the probably the model that you find will be similar with this device. So don't focus on the brand. Generally focus on the model. This is not a unique design product. This is a general product for different brands. So we have also a, some sort of camera or at least sensor for focus but we're going to take a look at this since we have a motorized focus we don't have something to pull in and out or just rotate so by the way this is a fabric 
I will try to make it close as possible. You are seeing the detail of the fabric now. So it looks quite a bit of good. That's one of the reasons that you probably fall in love with this device. It looks quite good, like an Xkimi. I know it's not Xkimi, but we got a power button, menu button, return button, and OK button. And for the rest of it, we got USB port, which we can play USB uh, files from our USB drive or hard drive, HD, HDMI input, and IR sensor, and a headphone jack. So if you're going to at least give it a shot. But since it has the Bluetooth, probably you're not going to you know, waste your uh, time on uh, to connect with the cable itself. So this is the physical ability. If you ask me, technically this build, build is, it's not built like a rock, but this is a solid design and the physical design style is quite good. That's probably what is the impressive part of this device. Uh, after this section, probably there will not be a lot of things that you're going to enjoy. But if you're going to continue, you can go to the next part. In this part of the video, we're going to take a deep look at this device settings. And there is not much to talk about. At the Wi-Fi, basically, we have the Wi-Fi setting and we can connect the Wi-Fi for casting. Since we don't have any smart functions, actually, Wi-Fi is for only probably for casting. Other than that, it has probably no function at all. I'm going to come to the projection setting, picture settings. Sound setting is simple, standard, music, movie, sports, and user. So this is probably more detailed than the usual settings of the device. Bluetooth mode is easy. It's for Bluetooth uh, connection for earbuds, headphones, or any kind of sound bar so you can search and connect system settings are language and factor default since this is the only setting we have we don't really have a setting probably at all so we have also information as you can see this is device name projector which is interesting right this is a device name called projector well, the system version is here, so we don't have nothing to talk about. System setting is near to none. So the projection, the thing that could be interesting for us could be the projection. The trapezoid con uh, co correction has been already made. Normally, uh, the position of it is like zero. This is the angle if you put it on a small table like this. So the optical quality doesn't really change, but when I screw the image, like when I try to correct the image, as you can see, text has some sort of <clears throat> edge to it. It's like an unfiltered uh, text of non-sharp uh, text from Photoshop, if you're into Photoshop or something. So Drabazin Correction Reset, we have that. And other than that, we have projection mode, front table, front ceiling, back table, back ceiling. This is good because this has rotating lag. Other than that, we have picture settings, dynamic, melt, user. When we go to the user, we can also enhance the sharpness and stuff. I will come to that. Standard and dynamic. Probably dynamic is the sharpest one, but let's go user and enhance the sharpness to the full color to the 55 to 60 since we don't have a powerful projector going 50 55 just brings a lot of gray areas instead of blacks by the way you are seeing black because i'm shooting hdr right now i don't care about general brightness level how it looks because it's not a bright projector and it's not even looking good but the sharpness level increased after I push it to the edge with sharpness of 10. So it's not an ideal settings for the projector. Let's go back. When we come to the settings of sh uh, focus, we hit the bottom from the device. As you can see, I can pull out of focus and go in to create focus. If we go close, I am by the way clicking every bit of the uh, 
image and this is the sharp sharpest as it gets so clicking singly single clicks really works but until certain amount of point so i will change the, right now the input settings of this device let's try to find that let's go back and bluetooth model so directly right now i'm at the hdmi and if you have something from use usb it can also play the dongle that we are using is realme 4k dongle by the way and i will come to the sharpness of it not the bright brightness of it let's go back in this 4k capable dongle by the way and i'm going to show you that this video is from coming from realme dongle and i'm going to give it 144p visual quality and go back just a little bit and to show you by the way i see some sort of jittering effect i never saw from realme 4k dongle because i connect this dongle to my 4k epson tw7000 and many other projectors like ultra short throw xiaomi 2 it might be because of the power input issue because this device doesn't probably have anything written on the usb port it's normally a uh, regular bulb style projectors tend to give 1.5 amps from the usb drive that might be reason of this jitter effect but there is obvious jitter but i'm not going to focus on that i'm going to focus on the texts and how it's going to be look like generally let's get closer in this position because i want to show you the sharpness problem i'm going to take the camera and get close to the screen okay because this is the part where these devices are failing just look at the edge of the text this is the sharpest setting that you can get and it's not sharp and it's actually look at the Haggerty okay this is even far worse for the 720p and how wrong it is look at the Haggerty from below it's not correct it's quite a bit of distorted because if you digitally correct the image from vertical to horizontal if you're not projecting straight with this it's going to ruin your image like this okay don't forget about this small text is a problem you can really read the 4k and 103k views and stuff we have a lot of ghosting so there is not much of a talk about actual sharpness of this uh, projector let's go here and as you can see everything is distorted edgy and glowing effect so there is a big problem let's get back uh, the camera is right now kind of like autofocus let me just click the button and show you basically what this device is doing when you're focus in and out let's just keep it here and as you can see this is the best that i can get but between these two points, let's go back and forth. There's a sharper point, but I can't get there. I'm just pumping right now, clicking the buttons. And this is the sharpest that I can get. And as you can see, I will just try my best. I'm hitting the button, by the way. As you can see, I'm going back and forth again to show you how it could be actually i'm not catching the best possible position but if i if i go back and forth you'll definitely see i'm catching and i'm losing it so this is a big problem if you ask me a problematic wise this is a big problem so let's get back to the stage where we you know push the lever and just get the camera in and overall this is the best picture right now tuned so let's get back to the menu and play and hdr footage or for oled tvs and stuff so by the way what we see in the room is something like this a lot of grays let me just calculate again adjust the camera this is what we see.
we don't see pure blacks, not even a good black, but in full dark room, you might be able to use this uh, projector. Let's go, go back and forth and find some place in this video. So that's kind of like it. Even though you give quite a bit of 4K style good image, this projector doesn't bring anything good to the table. So wild 4K or 8K, let's especially around the corners, the picture quality is awful. Just check out like this picture quality test video. Not the air quality, but picture quality. Let's just try again. Picture quality test video. Okay, it's getting the thing that we really wanted. Let's just say... Let's just open up the animals. And as you can see, it looks quite a bit of watchable from a distance. But actually, you can only use it on the moving videos. But when I stop it, that's where the problems begin. Let's just go back. As you can see, this is the projector. And I'm going to focus on 1.4 million relaxation footage. And I'm going to refocus my camera again just for you just look at this text and how bad this is right now the image size is 80 inch not even 100 inch not even 90 inch so this is how bad it is just look at this just come to the logos and stuff as you can see this is the top-notch best of it and I don't think this is an issue. Let's just go above. Let's just play something else. Let me just stop the image. By the way, this image is, as you can see, full HD. And I'm not going to show you. Let's just go back if, it, if it's... Okay, it's a full HD image. So, this, do you think this sharpness is a full HD sharpness? Do you think under the bird, the texture should be looking like this? I don't think so. This is far worse than usable. If you ask me, if you use this for a long time, you will hurt your eyes and you will have a lot of problem. So, this part is nearly finished. Final conclusion from me. From uh, I'm not going to test the rest of this device because it doesn't deserve for advanced tests like uh, picture brightness tests and stuff. And I didn't focus on the image brightness. It's not delivering the brightness value that is declaring on the paper. But I don't have too much of a time to test. And I don't think this device deserves more review than this because it probably is going to give the Aun cheap model probably HY300 uh, or something around that region. I reviewed the other models from Aun2. So they were giving like, when they're declaring 250, they're actually giving 90 ANSI lumen. So probably this is kind of like similar for my eye level point of view. And it's not the worst part of this projector. The brightness is not the problem here. The problem is sharpness, overall quality. And one last thing we can do is we can check the corner or sharpness quality by by the way, you are seeing the movie, music, mirroring, photo, HDMI, and set menu. So when you do hit the set, you come here. When you click the back button, you come here. We can directly mirror, check out the photos, 
and do, go directly to HDMI. By the way, right now the sharpness is awful around the top left corner. I can't see microphone logo. I can't see the account logo. I can't really read the picture quality test video text on the left, upper left corner of this video. But despite all the odds, let's just take a look at um, screen, screen, screen test video. Screen test video contains about the sharpness and stuff probably. Let's just test the sharpness. Screen sharpness video. Screen sharpness video, test video. Yes, this could be the test pattern that we can be using. And this will give you an interesting idea. Let's just check it out. For me, around the corner, especially up top, is problematic. Even though I've used correction at the image, the numbers are not readable. Camera might upgrade it later on in the channel. And since this is a static video, I will go click back and again from an android dongle this is real me 4k dongle by the way let's go back and test this it says reset and stuff the numbers at up top are not readable let's go back one two three four five six seven eight is not readable at all nine ten it starts to be being re readable and for the rest it is kind of right like readable that's not the whole point i will go forward this is the brightest stage of this uh, projector from left to right i can say all the edges are kind of like yellowish and up top i can't really read 230 from to 235 up upper left and from there i can read until 250 and on the right top 251 52 53 and 54 is not easily readable same is about on the right bottom corner and also the left bottom corner and by the way the vignetting kind of style uh, light loss is obvious on the left and the right i can see it let me just calculate it again let me just go back and keep it here and dial the tune of the camera settings. You might be seeing the similar stuff with me. Left on the right, light decrease. By the way, bigger text has no problem, but sharpness right now, I will stop the video. As you can read on the top left, sharpness has a big problem on the sharpness right now especially considering the bottom part of the text. Let's go back and see for the pattern. And this pattern doesn't look too good, especially on the left, we have a lot more blur and also the right top of it. Let's go forward and you need a dark blue color filter. I like to show the photos and the text. Let's just take a look at what's happening. And as you can see, the numbers are matching and the colors are kind of like matching. Let me just readjust the camera. By the way, I'm shooting, I'm trying to shoot HDR to show you everything. So that's how it is. For me, I believe, like in the beginning of the video, if I can't really read the books, read the text from this, it doesn't worth the money, doesn't worth the effort. So it's up to you to choose this projector or not. I wouldn't if I were you. And I don't recommend it. But if you're saying that, hey, I need to buy this, then that is what you're going to get. Just know this in advance. Just look at the up le upper left corner screen sharpness video text in the search. If you can read it, then you're good to go. But I can't. So that's why I'm telling you to stay away. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Just before the end of the video, I realized if I push the focus, right now it's angled on a small table. You probably see it on the video. 
If I push this sharpness, let's just try to focus. If I focus up top text, let's just try to do that. If I can really make it happen, up top text is kind of like becoming okay, but the bottom part is out of focus. If I go below, text below, and that's focus, but up top is now out of focus. So if you're going to project like an angle with a 15 degree kind of ish, you're going to lose the up top or bottom part if you're going to really keen on focusing good. So this is one of the lacking point of this device, probably the most important one, lacking of a extra sharp image.